I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints because we're going to push ourselves to make quick decisions during the Charleston. If you ever want to play online or maybe play in a tournament, this is a great skill to practice at home with your tiles and a smartphone with a stopwatch app. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a pair of dragons there, five seven, five seven nine. I think I would play big odds. Maybe dragons, five seven nine. I think I would break that up. Oh my goodness, five seven seven nine. I think that I would probably break up that. Play five seven seven nine. We have tiles we can pass, but let's see about splitting out those. Maybe pass these three. Five, seven, seven, nine. No keepers. Let's pass these three. No keepers here. Maybe pass these three. Three, four. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Let's pass those three right here. Dragon and let's see, we have three to pass, five, seven, nine still. There's a flower. We have two, four, dragon, five, seven, nine. The dragon hand and odds is the same. I would pass one blind. Lap. So here. I would probably play five, seven, seven, nine, and this would be the third hand down on the right. If we get a five dot, we could play five dot seven bam nine crack, mix suit Kongs, but that's a gap. So I'd probably focus on five, seven, seven, nine instead. Discard those, use that as joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, look for a link in the video description below. I have lots of videos that explain that strategy. It's a way to get a joker in your hand if you are mindful of timing because you've got to discard one in the middle of the middle game hoping to maybe have someone make an exposure with a joker and then you can use that other one to make an exchange. It's a hit or miss strategy, but it's nice when it works. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one and what you would have done. Jokers, pair of flowers, east, two, three, seven, eight, nine. 
in dots four, nine, and cracks and five, I would place something with those flowers, maybe consecutive, seven, eight, nine, maybe keep the nine for like numbers, seven, nine, we could maybe do big odds. Let's pass those three. There's an eight, that's a multiple, so I would build around that. So let's pass west, five, dragon. There's a five, maybe we can use it. I would not pass three, two wins together. I'd let that nine crack go. Seven, five, two tiles, flowers, seven, eight, nine. I would probably let the five, seven go because the five, seven with flowers is mixed suits. No keepers here. We do have a like number potential. Let's keep the eight. There's an eight. We have two tiles to pass. We could do like numbers with eights and flowers or seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight. We're on last right. I'd pass one blind. There's an eight. So I do either like numbers with eights or the second hand down under consecutive run and let those two go. Lap. So we have two discards and two hands. We could do seven, eight with flowers, or we could do like numbers with flowers. It's kind of even. And we have two discards. I'd say that was a pretty good Charleston. Maybe, yeah, I would just focus here and see what happens. We're actually one away from set because we could Pung here, Kong here with a Joker, Kong one of those. We would just need one more flower. If you would have done something differently, right? Sprint two and what you would have done with these tiles. News, dragon, one, two, three, seven, three, four, eight, and eight. News, east and west, short run, potential short run, tiles to pass. Ooh, I really don't like passing white dragons. Maybe we can keep that and let one of these go. Let's pass those three. South, there's a two. This is what I was thinking about, year tiles. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's see, single pair Pung. Let's let the four go. North, that's a keeper. Okay, so we could do north and south with a short run. News with the year or wins. I think that's what I would do here. Let's pass these three. Two, I'd keep it as an option. Pass those three. South. We have news south twos. Let's let that go. Pass fully. Three for optional. Lap. We have three discards and news concealed. Four discards. We just need pairs there and we just need to build those up and get another two. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. The other thing we could do is use this for joker bait and just hoard wins, play a wind hand. If you would have done something different with these tiles, right? Sprint three and what you would have done.
Training yourself to make quick decisions is good if you ever want to play online or play competitively, but it's also good if you want to play with people who are better than you or people who make quicker decisions than you. Push yourself to make quick decisions and practice at home with Charleston Sprints. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.